So today I want to show you how I created this eyeshadow look. I have to be honest, this is not the eyeshadow look that I came up with. I took an inspiration from Tammy Tanuka brand. Uh, they usually post beautiful eyeshadow looks using their pigments. So I thought, let's take that as an inspiration. We're going to try to recreate it as good as possible. But of course, I'm going to amend it to my eye shape. So if you are ready and if you want to see how to create this, keep on watching. So as you can see, we have a gray shading happening basically on our outer corner. Then we have our cut crease, our soft cut crease, as you may call it. And in the inner corner, we have a little bit of a brown liner happening and also orangey pink, almost peachy uh, shading happening. And then a little bit of sparkle going on. You see we have a little bit of green vibe going on right here on the brow bone. This is actually uh, have been created by using Tammy Tanuka's shade called, I don't know what it's called, but it's basically 097. It's from the Snake palette, but I think if you have more or less something like this, you can actually use it. If you have Serenity palette by Cosmic Brushes, you can basically dabble between this shade and also this shade right here. So you don't necessarily need to have the same products as I do to create this look. I mean, at the end, every eyeshadow will basically look the same on your eye, even though if it's a shade lighter or slightly darker or slightly warmer or cooler, you're gonna get the same vibe. So I'm going to dip into the brush. And what I want to do is just slightly, softly, create a little bit of shading with that color. And I'm going to take it pretty much up high because it is allowed. Like this. Actually, we can take it even a little bit more higher. Blend it nicely. Now, what I also did is I took this shade called Sorbet, just dipped into it slightly and just kind of like on some spots, you know, not the whole lid, but just a part of the brow bone I did with that shade, just to give it a little bit more vibrance. Then by cleaning the brush or taking a completely new brush, you just brush all over it and it will basically spread out the shade. Not to its full capacity, but slightly. As a next step, I'm going to use a shade from the Viseart Paris palette, which is this dark gray. So if you have a dark gray shade, please use that one. What we're going to do with that shade is basically create our outer corner. I'm using, by the way, a Zoeva 235 brush for this. I've raved so much about this brush. This is actually the brush that creates the perfect winged eye shape. So we're actually going to take it a little bit to the outer edge. Not too far, because the rest will happen by blending. Now I'm just mapping out the shape. We are also going to do a little bit on the inner side of our eye and we're going to leave it alone for now. I'm going to take now a mini blending brush. This is Nabla N205. If you have something else, that's fine as well. What we're going to do is we're going to blend with precision, basically. 
and make sure that the shading that we created kind of blends into our greenish shade and becomes one. We're going to take it out just as we did in this eye. So basically I have to touch my brow bone with the shade almost. And you kind of have to build the shade up just to make sure it's not super patchy, you know? I feel like the shape is looking more or less okay. So what I'm going to do next, take your previous brush, the one that you used for the green shade, and what you can actually do is dip into that first transition shade and actually go on top of the gray shade, just to make sure that everything is blending together and makes sense. Of course, I want a little bit more definition, so I am going to take any black shade, really doesn't matter, and I'm just going to fill the outer corner just a little bit, make it a little bit more intense. Then taking again our small blending brush and we're going to blend that into our previous shade. Flicking it up a little bit. Don't worry if you flicked out too much, we're going to fix it anyway. Now to connect the upper shading with the lower shading, I'm just going to take again the brush that I used for the black shade and I'm just basically going to run it under my lash. Under my lash? Yeah, under my lash. To make sure that it makes sense. Like that. What you can also do is take your mini blending brush and kind of blend it. Just like that. Now, to correct the shape, you can actually use concealer. What I do, because I don't like using concealer as it will add another product layer on top of your like outer corner. So what I love to do is actually taking one of these sponges. This is a gross one, but it actually doesn't matter. And I just take that sponge and basically create that shape. For the middle part of my eye, I'm actually going to take one of Glam Shop shadows and this one is Flirt. This is kind of like a brown based shade and it will give you almost like a pink shift as well. You know, smudge it a little bit. like that mm, 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 mm. okay now we get to the hard point right so we're going to cut our crease for cutting our crease i'm not going to use a lot of products okay we have to avoid that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little bit of concealer and i'm going to take a tiny angle brush i'm going to dip my brush into the concealer. I don't have a lot of product on here. And the most important thing would be just to map out your shape. So do you see a little bit of concealer already provides enough coverage? And what's left of it, I'm going to drag down.
you can add a little bit more how you want it. I still see a little bit of blackness here and I want it to be gone so I'm going to use a little bit more concealer. Just make sure that they more or less look the same. And so this way we can provide a blank canvas to deposit our green sparkling shade. I mean, this is already enough. You don't have to kind of like drag it down. You can if you want to just to smooth everything out, but we're gonna put a shade on top of it anyway, so it's not going to matter. Okay, now le moment suprême. Uh, we're going to take a shade like this. So it's a shimmer shade. This one is actually also coming from Tammy Tanuka. It's the 098. This one is also from the green snake palette, if I'm not mistaken. And so I'm going to take a little bit of that shade I'm depositing it on a very tiny brush because I need precision and we're going to put that shade basically here so where I cut my crease we're going to fill that first And then we're gonna do the rest of her eyelid. You can actually switch to another brush, but this one is already dirty, so I'm gonna use this one. Make sure you don't go too far into your dark shade. I have so much glitter falling on my lashes, but that's okay, we're gonna brush it out. Also going to your inner corner, like that. So as you can see, you don't see the concealer anymore. So I'm gonna put that green shade away and we're gonna move to the next one. The next shade is actually a shade from Glam Shop. It's a Polish brand and it's a multi-chrome. So it shifts basically from orange to pink and this is the shade called Wow. And it looks like this. So it shifts. Do you see that? I mean, the combination with the green and the peach is actually pretty nice. So let's just deposit that shade into our inner corner. Hope you can see anything like that. Hope my eye is not too shaky or anything like that. And also on our lower lash. So we're gonna connect it. Make sure that the orangey shade melts together with the green shade. And this is basically how it will look like at the end. Now we're not done yet because we still have to deposit brown liner on our inner corner. So we're gonna do that. You can actually take any waterproof liner. I have this one from Manhattan. It's actually called Endless Stay Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. And what I'm going to do is basically look straight to the mirror and draw on the inner line of my eye and also on the bottom side. So you will get a little bit definition, a little bit snatched moment right here. I'm actually going to correct this side a little bit more, make it more pigmented, like that. So we went from super tiny eye to this huge eye, right? But we're not there yet. 
Of course, you see that on this eye, I have a little bit of sparkle going on. So to create that, um, you can actually take shades like this. This is from Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction Palette. Um, these are kind of like pressed glitter shades almost. So I will just put a little bit on my finger. And what we're going to do is we're going to tap those shades onto our eye. Ooh, went a little bit overboard there, sorry. I will correct it. So tap it on your eye. You don't need much. It's just to create a little bit of dimension. If you already did your skincare and salon, you can take a little bit of moisturizer and basically get rid of that fallout we had. And then take a little bit of the concealer to do the corrections. Brighten your eye a little bit. Make sure you don't touch the eyeshadow you just deposited there. Smooth everything out. And then we're going to set it with a little bit of powder. Of course, we need to put mascara on the lower lashes and put it on the lower lashes. Just like that, and let it dry for a bit. Try to not move your eyes. This is how the eyeshadow looks on both eyes. Um, I do like it. It feels really flattering, although you use colors, but there is something about this combination and the shape of the eye that just kind of like makes your eyes bigger and uplifting. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing to my channel because when you subscribe, it motivates me a lot to create more videos for you. And if you are subscribed, I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.